Hello, I am Dr. T. S. Kannan, Professor of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Worked 32 years in Thiyarajar College of Engineering, Madurai, Tamil Nadu, India. Presenting the paper published. New concept of percentage total deviation method for multi-objective optimization. The authors are Dr. P. S. Kannan, Professor of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Dr. S. Thurairaj, Principal, SRM Madurai College for Engineering and Technology and Engineer K. Samyutta. In reality, if the living cost reduced, increase the uncomfortable if the uncomfortable reduced living cost increased two objectives are conflict in nature both the objectives are depending on the income minimum living cost gives the minimum income minimum uncomfortable gives the maximum income the method of finding the two income values is called single optimization finding the income for best living by compromising the two objectives is needed the method of compromising is the multi objective optimization most of the conventional methods weightages are given to each objective function finding these weightages is the best solution for multi objective optimization first step in the percentage total deviation method by using single optimization methods find the optimal value of each objective that is the minimum value of each objective next step is finding the difference of each objective function from its optimal value in terms of percentage by holding all the differences for the each objective function called percentage total deviation value minimizing that is finding optimal value of percentage total deviation is the best solution consider the dc electrical circuit shown in the display having two generating plant g1 and g2 connected to a, the load of 500 watts through 4 ohms line and 1 ohms line respectively the generating fuel cost is in quadratic in terms of generating power the unit is rupees per hour as shown in the equations emission of the plants are grams per hour represented by quadratic equation in terms of generating powers the equations are shown in the display the line losses are depending on the current delivered by the generator 1 and generator 2 to the load 500 watts load voltage is fixed at 100 volt total current is 5 ampere therefore all the equations are represented in terms of first generator output power as shown in the display the actual plot of cost of plant 1 generation plant 2 generation and total costs are shown in the display the minimum cost is rupees 2840.61 similarly emission for plant 1 emission for plant 2 and total emission are shown in the display the minimum value of emission is 647.963 grams per hour plot of line loss l1 and l2 
and total line loss are shown in the display. The minimum loss is 20 watts. Second step, finding the deviation of the cost, emission and loss from its optimal value as shown in the equation. All are calculated in terms of percentage. Now adding all these deviations gives percentage total deviation. Deviation of each objective function from its optimal value and the percentage total deviation also shown in the display. The minimum percentage total deviation is 14.881 from the graph. The corresponding values of P1, P2 are 153.075 and 367.924 respectively. The cost deviation is 9.267, emission deviation is 0 0.618, loss deviation is 4.995. This is the best solution. If any constraint introduced, that is, now the output power of the generator 2 is fixed at 300 watts, then the percentage total deviation increased to 33.33 and the cost deviation 1.602, which is less comparing with the best, but the deviation of emission increased to 2.297 from the best and loss deviation increased from 4.995 to 29.431. So if it is acceptable then this can be considered as a best solution this constraint. But if it is not acceptable then there is no feasible solution for this constraint of fixing generator output power 300 watts. As a conclusive remark, this method can be used for any optimization problem. First, find the optimal value of single objective functions and then find the deviations of each objective function from the optimal value as a percentage by adding all these deviations and minimizing with single optimization method is the best solution. Actual plot is considered in the example in order to prove the exactness of the method and this is an innovative new method for multi-objective problems may be included in the curriculum of science and technical universities and institutions well over. Thank you.